Hi guys, welcome back, and today we're going to be going through the song that you heard in full in the previous lesson. Now, we're going to break it down into two parts. There's a verse and there's a chorus. In this part, we're going to be looking at the verse, and the next time we're going to be looking at the chorus and then piecing it all together. So, it's really important that we do start playing along to songs nice and early, because there's loads of stuff going on. You know, there's the vocal, there's the bass, the drums, there's keyboard parts, and other guitar parts as well. So, we've got to learn how to almost phase that out at the early stage and just focus in on what we're doing until we're comfortable with that and only then can you start actually enjoying listening whilst playing to the song. That's where we want to get to. But to get to that point we need to be going over and over songs so pretty much everything we look at we're then going to learn a song to go with it so it's going to be fun. So now then let's just start by looking at the intro. Okay so the intro chord chart is quite simply an E minor followed by an A major. So we've got our E minor chord, and then we do an A major chord, okay? Now, the, this is a pretty nice pedestrian start because we're doing the E minor for one bar, and we just do one simple strum. It's a deliberate sound that we want to get this kind of strum through the track. So it's, it's not just like a, a, a quick strum, it's a kind of slow, you almost drag your plectrum through the E minor. And then you do the same for the A on one bar. Then you go back to the E minor for one bar. Then back to the A for one bar. Okay? So the intro is super simple. It's just E minor, A, E minor, A. Okay? And what I'll do, just to make sure you understand that, is I'll play it along with the drum beat. And we're going to go at 120 BPM fourth note. So that's just... So your count is... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. E minor, two, three, four, A. E minor, A. And that's your intro, okay? It's a lot slower than that, but just for the purpose of demonstration so you understand it, that's how the intro goes. So that's the really easy bit. Now, when we get into the verse, we've got two verses throughout the track. Okay, and just if you've never heard the term verse before or intro or chorus, basically your verse is um, the kind of typically the build up bit leading to a chorus and then the chorus is the big kind of sing along part and then we come back to a verse which is again a bit more subdued and then big chorus. This is your typical way that pop songs kind of work. Okay, so in this verse the chord chart goes like this. We do an E minor for one bar and an A major for one bar. We then do that same thing three times, so just like the intro. So E minor, A major, E minor, A major. So three times around that loop, okay? Then we go to a C major, so hopefully you've been practicing your C major chord, because we're going to strum that one for one beat, and then we're going to do a D major. Okay? So I'm not going to go through these chords because you should know these chords, we practiced them in one of the previous lessons. And that's one half of your verse, okay? So to count you through, remember it's just one strum as well, the verse goes like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And again, one, two, three, four. One, Two. Then we're going to go C, four, C, one strum, three, four, D, and then after that we do that entire part one more time. Okay, so the verse kind of loops the same thing twice. Okay, so that gives us uh, an entire verse. Okay, and notice a couple of things. One, every time I do the strum, it's kind of this slow strum that I've been talking about, the kind of dragging through the strings, just to give it a, an effect more than anything. Okay, but also my arm is moving constantly, so I'm still moving that right arm so that when I get to the chorus, which we'll talk about next time, I'm ready to do the full strumming pattern that I'm going to need. Okay, so. Let me just play through the intro and the entire verse one, okay? Then, after that, the verse two, when we get to it, is exactly the same, okay? You'll notice that you'll have a full chord chart just with the outline of this entire song for you to just double check this against. Now, let me play it through. I'm gonna take my drum beat, but I'm gonna go way down, really nice and slow. I'm gonna go down to a 90 BPM, and we'll play through the, ver the intro and the verse. So, here's the beat. 
Okay, ready for this? So after four, we're gonna do the intro. So that's E minor A, E minor A, and then we'll go straight into the verse. So here we go, after four. A oh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A, two, three, four. E minor, A. That's your intro, now we're into verse. So seamless change is exactly the same. But we're going to do this bit, E minor, so we're in the verse, A, E minor, A, now we're going to go to the C, now the D, second half of the verse, E minor, A, okay, this is still the verse, E minor, A, E minor, Then we're going to do the C, and then the D, but, and we'll stop there. And that takes us from intro to verse, ready for the chorus. Now, what I suggest doing, guys, is trying to get it played along with me on the video. Remember, you've got your actual chord chart to look at, just to follow along to make sure you're understanding how the chord chart works properly. If you still don't quite understand that, then I'd go back a few videos where we, where we talked about how the chord chart works. But if you understand it, then it should be relatively simple to kind of match up what I'm doing with the chord chart. Now, make sure you've got all that together, and next time we're going to look at the chorus. Mm -hmm. 